Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream in this video i am going to review yet another very popular android 13 custom rom which goes by the name of nameless aosp for the oneplus 9 series so without wasting any more time let's get started so i have been using nameless aosp since android 12 and it is easily the best and most stable rom and the same is the case for android 13 also i have installed it on my oneplus 9 pro and if i go into the about info section you can see that the android version is android 13 and the security patch is 5th october 2022 if we have a look at the build number the build number is nameless aosp 25th october 2022 Now let's see what all this ROM provides and what we can expect. Also, since this is an Oxygen OS 12 based ROM, you will need to be on Oxygen OS 12 C.62 and C.65 for installing this ROM. I will be making a detailed installation video for the Nameless AOSP in the coming week. Now coming to the basic functionality, all the basic functionality is working fine. Wi-Fi is working, Bluetooth is working fine, and calling is also working properly. The ROM comes with very minimal pre-installed apps, and thus the bloatware is just zero. Apart from that, one great thing about this ROM is you get fingerprint to unlock as well as face unlock functionality with this one and both of them are quite fast and accurate if i talk about the launcher you get the basic stock pixel launcher with this one for now from the first look the rom feels stable and snappy just like it used to feel before moving on as i've already shown you this is an android 13 based build so you will have all the latest and best features of android 13 like more accent colors to choose from in the wallpaper and color section and the latest wallpaper picker and other features so you will have all the android 13 features here working well all your banking and payment apps will just work fine as this rom passes safety net test out of the box and if i show you the wideband security level it is l3 and you might not be able to stream hdr content on netflix and other streaming sites moving on the camera that you get with this rom is oxynos tel camera and gallery app this is such a great advantage as a lot of android tel based roms don't have oxynos camera and gallery app The quality of Oxynos camera is also similar to Oxynos 12.1. Now talking about the battery, I didn't face any drains as such, but I will use this ROM for a week or so and I will update you with all the details about the battery charging speeds and overnight drains in the community tab or the comment section of this video. Now talking about gaming, you will get full 90 FPS support in BGMI. As you can see in BGMI settings, you have the option to select 90 FPS and you can play on 90 FPS also. The gaming performance looks very good initially. Comment down if you want me to do a full gaming review of this rom now let's talk about the customization options that are available on this rom the thing about nameless usp is that you don't get one different section for customization instead they are scattered across various tabs so if i go into the app section you get a game space or gaming mode option moving on to battery you get battery icons and battery style settings however you only have two styles to choose from inside sound and vibration at the bottom there are option for alert slider mute media volume and some volume dialog configs Inside display settings you get options for lock screen customizations like double line clock media art edge light and some lock screen gestures inside dark theme you get the option to select a pure black theme we get the option to select minimum and maximum refresh rate also then we have some qs panel brightness slider customization like the position of brightness slider followed by some qs style layout settings then we get some status bar options like clock and date network settings and status bar items and finally there are some option for status bar gestures with some theming options like font icon pack signal wifi icon styles so that's all the customization that you get with this rom you don't have any device extra or one plus extra option settings and i feel the customization are a little less if we compare it to the standards of nameless usp but i think the devs are focusing more on stability and more customization will be added in future updates so should you install this rom definitely yes this is one of the finest android 13 rom that you can get in terms of stability and performance it is just lacking in terms of customization but it will get there you also get the support of oxynos camera and gallery app with full 90 fps in bgmi so thanks to the developer for putting so much hard work and effort in building this rom comment down if you want me to make an installation video for the same also i'll be making a lot of rom reviews and i'll be trying other android 13 roms subscribe to the channel to not miss those videos thank you for watching